Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making pumpkins with this little guy. <laughs> What'd you put in there? Um, anyway, this is going to be a project that we're going to do together and we'll show you how it goes. It's going to be fantastical. <laughs> okay, let's get started. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you probably remember these pumpkins from last year. I made them last fall and this DIY is actually inspired by them, but this time around I used different concrete mix. This one seems a lot easier to work with and it sets way faster. Um, if you want to follow along with us, I'll go ahead and add a link down below for you uh, for the full list of supplies so you can follow along. Okay. We started off by prepping the tights for the pumpkins. We cut them off at the bottom, measuring at about 12 inches in length and put them aside. Then we pulled our succulents from the pots and used some clean wrap to cover the pots. This will help the concrete from entering the pot. Okay, now the fun stuff. To make our cement mixture, we mix a total of four cups of dry cement mix and just a little under one cup of cold water. This makes enough for one pumpkin. Here's what the consistency of the mixture should look like. Keep in mind this stuff starts to set pretty quick. You'll only have about 10 to 15 minutes before it starts to harden. That's why we prepped our tights and the pot before mixing the cement. If in any case it hardens faster than you expected, you could add a tiny bit of water and mix it again. Next, Oleg held the tights open while I filled them with the cement. Here's how mushy the mixture looked. Then we went ahead and added our little plastic pot. We just centered it and squished it in there. And following that, I tied a knot with the leftover tights on top. To create our pumpkin shape, we used four identical, uh, pretty big rubber bands and pulled them onto the tights. Make sure your rubber bands don't slash into the pumpkin too much because you won't be able to remove them after. We just made sure our rubber bands were visible all around. Okay, we also tried to place them at an even distance apart because this helps make or keep your pumpkin looking uniform. Okay, this step is super important. Whatever you do, do not let your pumpkin dry too much before removing the tights. Because cement has such a fine powder, it pretty much super glues the tights to itself. So to avoid having to tear them off in pieces later, wait about 10 to 15 minutes and remove the tights from the pumpkin. Your pumpkin should still be wet when removing the tights and the rubber bands, and you'll know when it's ready if you try to feel the pumpkin and it's solid but you can't make an indent in it. Okay, now all that's left to do is cut off all this extra plastic and place your succulents in there. And that's it. Here's how they turned out. We love how they look. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video, everyone. We hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up and subscribe below and turn on that notification bell. Yep, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.